So for um, number seven, it wants us to find the volume of a right circular cone with length h and base radius r. So I've drawn that here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down on the uh, on the y x axis. So what we have here, um, we're going to put this, we're going to lay it down like this. The x axis is going to run through it like so. So we're going to draw it like here. And then it goes all the way up to h and then goes back out like so. Um, so this point here is the point, uh, because that's the value h, right? So that's the point h0, and so that's our root, and our y-intercept is 0 on the x-axis, and on the y-axis is going to be um, the height of the radius, right? It's going to be 0, r. So what we're going to do here is we're first going to find this this curve um, that connects 0 r and h 0. So let's find an expression for that. Um, and for this one, because it is a straight line, we're just going to use our y1 uh, minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So I'm going to use this as point 0.1. So y1 is equal to 0 minus y2, which is r, and then h. Um, h minus uh, x2, which is 0, minus 0. So this slope is going to give us uh, minus r over h. And remember that a, a line is described by y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So we already found the slope. Um, so y is equal to minus r over hx, that's the slope, and our intercept is just the point where it crosses our y-axis, which is the point r, so uh, plus r. Um, now we have an expression for this green line that connects these two points, um, and that will make it easy for us to set up our integral. Um, our integral, the way that we're going to set it up is we're integrating from x is equal to zero, all the way up to x is equal to h, so from 0 to h. And let's think about how we're going to set this up. Well, at any point, um, we're going to, when we revolve this line about the x-axis to form a cone, we are going to get a circle, right? And this circle is going to have a radius of whatever the height is of this function. Um, and as we can see, this function decreases, and so does the height, right? And when we revolve it, it's going to give us that cone that we that we want. Um, so basically, each the area of each circle is just basically pi r squared, where uh, in this case the radius is the height of the function. So because it is the height, it's just the value of this function right here. Um, so basically, our area is equal to pi times r squared. So minus r over h x plus r squared. So when we um, expand this, we're going to get pi times r squared x squared over h squared um, plus 2, sorry, that should be minus, minus 2 r squared x over h, and then uh, plus r squared. So that's our area. Um, now we are ready to set this up in our integral, right? So um, this integral, the pi goes outside because it's a constant. I did this in the wrong color, the pi goes outside. And then our integral is just gonna be r squared x squared over h squared minus two r squared x over h um, plus r squared and all of this times dx. So once we have this, um, we can integrate, and the result of this is, let's see, pi, that's a constant outside. Um, we have r squared x cubed over 3h squared minus, um, the 2 is going to cancel with the x, x squared over 2, minus r squared um, x squared over h plus r squared um, r squared x, and all of this from 0 to h. So when we um, evaluate these boundaries, the, the lower boundary is going to disappear, right? 
because uh, all the x's are going to go to zero. So let's evaluate it now just using the upper boundary, which is the h. So that's going to give us pi times r squared h cubed over 3h squared minus r squared h squared over h um, plus r squared h. And then when we simplify this, we're going to get, um, I'm going to remove all the r's outside because they are constants, right? So we're going to get pi r squared. And here, this h cubed is going to cancel with the h squared. So we're going to have h over 3 um, minus, minus h plus minus h plus h. So this is going to end up being pi r squared h over 3. And that is what gives us the volume of our cone.